This is the new Zeppelin Micro 2 motorized slider. And I'm really excited about this product because it's something new of its design. So with traditional sliders, you mount it on a tripod and the carriage just travels along its track. However, with this slider, the carriage and the base plate or the base mount for the slider moves along. So you actually get almost double the traveling distance. Now this has been seen on multiple other sliders, but because of how well this slider has been made, I think it's extremely unique and it's something that other companies aren't really doing. And especially for its price point, I don't think you can get anything better for even double the price of this slider. Now Zeppelin did sponsor this video, but they did not sponsor my opinions, so I will be 110% honest with you. So let's talk about the overall engineering of this slider. I have to tell you right now that it's built better than any other slider that I've used and I've owned over eight motorized sliders. And honestly, the only thing that's missing from this slider is a pan and tilt head. But guess what? It looks like they're working on that module as well. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit later when we talk about the app that connects to this slider. So the slider uses an aluminum steel track, which the carriage and the base mount glide upon. Similar to other sliders, we do have a belt driven system supported by a four and a half kilo payload motor. And this is a step motor, so you're gonna get ultra accurate shots. Now with the sliders that I've owned in the past, even the expensive ones that range over $2,000, they've had really tough times with creating smooth shots. And no matter what I did with the dampening settings or the speed ramping settings, it just never created a smooth movement for me and I had to add a lot of warp stabilizer and it, you know, it just was kind of a hassle at times to stabilize my slider footage. You shouldn't have to do that. A slider on its own should be extremely stable. In fact, it should be even more stable than trying to replicate a slider shot on a gimbal. So that's why sliders should definitely still be used for those subtle dolly in and dolly out shots. And plus, because this step motor is so powerful, you can actually mount heavier setups and not just a traditional DSLR or mirrorless setup, but you can actually add some digital cinema cameras as well. Now my Instagram page at momentum underscore productions, I posted a ton of BTS videos using the slider with a 70 to 200 G master, my Sony A9 in a camera cage, and at an 80 degree incline, this thing handled everything like butter. Also, we get control buttons right on the slider too, so you don't have to constantly open up your phone and connect to the slider. You can create slider movements by accessing the buttons on the slider itself. Now the power button is also a speed button which has three pre-programmed speeds, low, medium, and high, and on top of the motor module, the two buttons there will move the slider. If you press both of those buttons at the same time, you will erase the keyframes. When you're shopping for motorized sliders, another key thing that you need to be looking at is, is it loud? There's a ton of motorized sliders out there and some of them sound like jet powered engines. You need something that's dead quiet, especially if you're a wedding filmmaker. You don't wanna be disrupting any part of the ceremony. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this on. I'm having my lapel mic right on here and let's just move the slider and you can see how quiet this thing is. it's dead quiet and it's rated at 39 decibels. So you can get away with using this slider at even the quietest situations. Now due to the current situation of self-isolation, I can only stay home and use the slider around the house. I did have some big shoots canceled where I plan to use this slider, but hopefully with the demo footage that I show you today, you will be able to decide if this slider is good or bad. When using a slider, it's really important to use foreground. Without foreground, it's kind of difficult to see movement unless you're using a very wide lens. If you take a close look at this footage, it's extremely stable. Now in order to get that extra sliding distance on this slider, make sure to mount it to a tripod. They also have an optional accessory, which is a base stand, which will allow you to get that double distance too. The slider itself is powered by those Sony MPF style batteries. With the largest battery, you can get well over 10 hours of runtime. Now let's talk about the app and connect it to the slider. 
So I'm gonna open up the Zeppelin Lab app. You can download it for Android or iOS. And this is basically the menu that we're gonna see after we connect to the slider. If you just got your slider, you're gonna to have to open up the Zeppelin Lab app, and then you're gonna to have to click on this link and wait for it to connect, and then you'll be taken to the home screen. On the top of the app, you will see a little slider. If you move it over to the left or over to the right, you'll see that the slider starts to move. On the bottom of the slider, we have five different keyframes. You can set the slider to move at five different points on its travel path. So we are going to press on the first keyframe and then I'm gonna move the slider over and then I'm gonna press on the second keyframe and then if you like, you can set the other keyframes too, but for side to side movements, I usually only use two keyframes. On the middle of the screen to the left, we have the auto rotation option, which allows the slider to bounce back and forth. And then in between the two keyframes, you'll notice that we have a little area where we can adjust the speed. So you can start off slow and then the slider will start ramping up speed until it hits the next keyframe. And then if you set the other keyframes, you can slow it back down and then speed it back up again. When you're ready, you can press the play button. Now, before I mentioned that Zeppelin might create a tilt and pan motor, well, if you look at the app, they have tilt, rotate, and follow focus options. So it looks like they are currently working on this. I hope that these units will be available soon, but this sounds really exciting. A slider this small to have all of these features would be freaking awesome. And on the top right, we can select time-lapse. And here you're gonna see all of your time-lapse options. You can set your exposure, your interval time. You can also select a pre-programmed preset by Zeppelin, which will capture any scene at night. You can capture clouds, stars, sunsets, and this will automatically adjust your shutter speed and the number of pictures and time that's needed. And you basically program it exactly the same as in video mode. Overall, I do think that this is the best slider for the price and for the size. It's also the most powerful. I'm very curious to see what Zeppelin has coming to the market. Seeing those follow focus, tilt and pan motors on the app, it just, it gets me very, very excited because this thing can literally fit in almost any camera bag. So I'm really excited. If you're just as excited as I am, you can go ahead and find out more by clicking on the link down below in the description box. I highly love and recommend this slider, so definitely check it out. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to my channel with those notifications turned on, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.